this is my 1990 Dodge Diesel. And it didn't always look like this. At one point, it looked nice and new, because it was nice and new. Then, uh, it got rolled over and totaled. The drivetrain got ripped out of it to repower a Ford. Didn't fit in the Ford, so the drivetrain came back. I reinstalled it into this truck. My dad did some body work, enough to get it across the country, and daily drove it for about a decade. Then I drove it back across the country, installed the lift gate, and used it every once in a while when I needed to do some heavy hauling in my shop. But uh, it still looked like it had been rolled over. And uh, so now, this video, I'm going to do a refresh on it. I got some old body panels, a whole used nose, uh, got the cheapest interior I could find, I got a pile of diamond plate, some square tubing of different sizes, um, some bits and pieces, drawers from a rack unit, um, some hardware from the hardware store. And I'm going to do a complete refresh on this truck and make it look uh, halfway decent and uh, more useful than it ever was. So why don't you come along for the ride? For the front end of the Dodge, I bought this clip. This is from a 1981 Dodge Half Ton, which I'm sure will fit with absolutely no problems at all. Um, it might come pretty close. So we're going to take this apart, paint it to match, put those parts on that old diesel. Gotta get away from that. I'm gonna get soaked in a minute. Well, it's about five minutes later. And, uh, yeah, it started raining. <laughs> so that's what that black cloud means. I got the front end of this truck pretty much straightened out. The news nose is on. Uh, got the new fenders on. I straightened out the door a little bit. Had to put a new rocker panel on. But basically, the cab is pretty straight and solid, or at least good enough for a work truck. The problem is the bed. The bed is bad. Um, we've got this whole edge missing. Holes come around this side. And the whole side of the corner has crushed in. So that's all, well, not good. So, got to do something here. My original plan was to pull off this bed and just make a completely new one. However, I was underneath it, taking off the bolts, and the bottom is real nice. It's real solid and straight. So I'm looking, the inside looks salvageable. It's just the outside is terrible. So I don't see any reason to move the whole bed. I'm just gonna take the outside off the bed and uh, do something there. That should be interesting. Taking off the outside. Okay. Hmm? Are you gonna paint it? Oh yeah. So I'm gonna make some new metals. Well, the nose is on the Dodge. Got some uh, body work done. New rocker panel installed, masked up, and now it's getting nice and windy. I'm gonna spray it. <laughs> well, I got the cab of the Dodge all one color now, and it came out as I was hoping, work truck quality. So it's not too nice, but it's certainly nice enough to be presentable and also not nice enough. I don't have to worry about not scratching it. I'm going to build the bed next, so I didn't bother painting that since it's not done. But at least the cab's done and I can go ahead and reassemble that.
I've got the truck pretty well put together and it's starting to look like a truck again. Uh, at least I can drive around with lights that work and don't just hang on wires. Well, I'll still have to deal with the bed, so that's next. Well, now the bed's peeled, I can see what I'm working with here. Now the body of the truck has two body lines, up high near the door handle, and then one down a little lower. Uh, they're about two inches from this inside edge, and then three inches. So what I got myself is a pile of square tubing. I'm going to put some one by two here, some one by three down there, uh, and some one inch, one by one to uh, brace the whole thing up, and then skin it over with some diamond plate. So I should have some structure, uh, and then I should have some solid outer surface. And I'm going to cut a few holes in there to make some pockets for storing stuff. Now I'm thinking. A drawer right there. So uh, let's see how this goes together. Now I'm going to follow the body line here. I'm just going to go with the flange that's already there, cut off the excess, and use that as my starting point for the fender area. Uh, then there's some damage here in the back where when it rolled over the whole rear corner got crumpled in. It's still kind of wavy and I can see this part right here sticks out quite a bit. So I'm going to uh, nudge that in a little bit uh, and then we'll put a straight bar across this whole thing and straighten it out. So, precision body work. Perfect. And once I put the straight line there, I'll just bring this out and weld it in place. I find that I'm always loading things to the side of the truck. So I want steps to make it easier. Um, I bought some. Of course they weren't for this truck, they were for a crew cab truck. So they're way too long. But that's okay because I cut the ends off of the extra length. I'm going to use that behind the rear wheel so I have some extra length there. Now I'm going to mount the piece to the area between the cab and the wheel in the rear. And of course I don't have a normal bed to mount it to. So I'm going to attach it to this member down here, one by one tubing, which should be plenty strong. And then I have this one by three where I um, have made the fender. Well, I want to put these on here a little tighter than they were originally. So this flange has got to go. need to attach a bolt into the 1x3. You can see I drilled a hole here. Obviously the bolt can't turn sideways. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a nut on the running board, stick it up in there, mount everything in place, then weld that up, the nut will stay there, and that way I can still unbolt it. So it should be all set then. So first step is mark where it's going to go. You can see I've got a line on either side. I pre-drilled holes. Here is the 1x3 area where I'm going to be putting uh, the tubing. That nut is going to go up into the tubing and that's where I'm going to weld the sides. It'll be something like that. 
and I can go ahead and weld that area in and that'll knock the nut in place, but I'll still be able to unbolt the sideboard. So now we take it apart, take the washer out, bolt it all back up. We should be good. Yeah. This side of the truck took the most damage when it did the rollover. Actually, this is a completely different door. The whole side was pushed in pretty good. Uh, there's still some residual damage. Um, I'm going to be attaching side steps to here. Uh, and we want to use the rocker panel seam to attach those. So I need that fairly straight. I also need to work on this wheel well a little bit because it's got some buckling in it. So I'm going to do some uh, gentle massaging of the metal and uh, we'll get everything installed. Perfect. I've got holes in the side of the bed here. And I did that for a reason. I want to put little doors there because the uh, square tubing makes a nice top and bottom. Put a door there and got another storage compartment. When I cut them out, I kept the pieces I cut and even labeled them for which spot they came out of. And so I've got little pieces that fit exactly in the hole. So what I'm going to do is attach a hinge on the bottom, a latch on the top, and I'm going to have some doors. Now, I picked up some uh, piano hinge. This is actually steel that's plated so I can weld it. Uh, I got a 30 inch piece. I'm going to slice it in half, do one on each, each uh, front and back. Then, some strap steel, just eighth inch strap. That's going to go in place on top, and that's going to let it close against something. And that's where the latch is going to be. Speaking of latch, hardware store stuff. It's a key with a little arm on it, and now they're cheap. And it'll be both the uh, handle and the latch. Uh, and then it'll be locking too. So, um, in theory, it could be secure, maybe. And some chain. So that way, when the door is down, it, I can have it set level so I can use it as a little mini workbench. So, first step is I gotta make some room for the hinge. I'm gonna cut a notch on the bottom side here. And I made up a little jig. And this jig is going to be half the hinge plus, it'll be half the hinge plus the tip of my plasma cutter. So I'm gonna clamp it in place and just go zip, zip, zip. And uh, I should get the exact notch I need in, in the metal. And then I can go ahead and attach the hinge. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and zip out that section. The jig's in place. Um, getting ready for a trash run, so I got a load of trash in the back of this truck. A lot of it's flammable, so uh, keep an eye on that. Let me know if the kitchen's on fire. Ah, no fire. All right, so, got my hinge ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clamp it in place and then drill a couple bolt holes in here, probably three of them, uh, to bolt that in place. This little lock latch deal uh, just takes a straight hole, so I'm gonna pop a three quarter inch hole in this plate. I already have it piloted and just a unit to make it bigger. Uh, when using this lap style drill press, make sure you're not over your leg. Line it up roughly. There we go. It still moves. And there we go. We've got a door. Oh yeah, there we go. Any clearance issues, this can adjust it. finish up the other ones and we're good to go. Now, I got the seat of this Dodge apart and uh, now it's time to peel it. I came with these hog rings and pliers. 
they have little notches in the jaws. The ring sits in there, you squish them, and that wraps around and holds them together. So that's how we're going to attach the upholstery. I got the whole interior cleared out. Headliner, seat, carpet, seat belts, everything. So uh, it's time to install all new stuff and make this look like a decent truck again. Dust them up a little. There we go. We're good. Oh, good to get a nap now. Now, I'm getting this uh, primed up here. And uh, some point in the future, I'm gonna paint it. Um, I'm noticing the primer matches that silver pretty darn well which means that some point in the future is probably going to be between two years till the end of time until I actually get around to painting it because I think I'm going to leave it like this. Uh, knowing me, I'm going to leave it like this and go on to something else. Well, this truck is getting pretty useful. Um, it looks a little better with the new nose that's not bent up and rusty. Uh, it's nice to drive in the interior because um, there's not holes in the seats and it smells a lot better too. Uh, we've got the bed, is a lot more useful now. I've got to have some tie downs there. Uh, I'd already had a lift gate. I installed that about a decade ago, so I didn't get it out on video. Um, got my doors. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to put in there yet, but they're here and they lock so I can put whatever I want in. And I've got the drawer down below. This one holds a big pile of tie downs right now. I don't know what I'm going to put on the other side, but uh, we'll find out. And. Uh, I've got steps the whole length of the truck, so anywhere I want to get to it, I can just climb right in. And uh, she's sturdy and doesn't look half bad. So I'm pretty uh, happy with this. Now, I'm not done. You'll see this truck again. I started an integrated headache rack into the bed, because so I know I want one, but I'm not sure what I want on top yet. So I haven't finished that yet. I also think I'm gonna put some kind of mesh to cover up the rear windows when I load stuff in. I don't break the rear window. Uh, but I'll figure that out at a later date. Um, I wanna do some mechanical work. The AC doesn't work right now and I need to get that going. Um, and it's got a few other things, got an oil leak in the rear end and some other little minor stuff we'll take care of. Uh, but for now, uh, the thing is presentable and useful and drivable. And I got a load of trash in here. I got to get this to the dump before I uh, let it on fire again. So anyway, uh, you'll see it again. And until next time, keep having fun.